This is Dr. Phil Pereira, and in this video clip, we'll take a look at the classic appearance of a cardiac myxoma on bedside emergency ultrasound. First, we'll look at the parasternal long axis view to the left, and with a small indicator arrow, I'm showing the fleshy mitral valve myxoma present on the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve. We see the left atrium to the bottom right, and the left ventricle to the bottom left. Note the right ventricle seen to the top of the image. Next, let's look at the parasternal short axis view to the right. Here, I think we can better see the cardiac myxoma moving up and down on that mitral valve as a heart beats during its cycles. With a small indicator arrow, I'll again outline the presence of the fleshy, ball-like cardiac myxoma present on the mitral valve within the left ventricle. We note a small sliver of the right ventricle seen to the top of the left ventricle in the parasternal short axis view. Now let's take a closer look at the parasternal long axis view, and we note the left atrium appears dilated in size. And in fact, on formal cardiology echocardiography, this patient was found to have severe mitral valve regurgitation resulting in a dilated left atrium.